And the 
So he doesn't bounce off. 
So, why don't we move on to another live specimen I have? This one is just to kind of calm down in between for those who are trying to stomach this. I personally think these are all fascinating. I don't have any problem with collecting these. There was one point where I did own a um, human skull. It was a medical skull. And there was a small group of people complaining because it was of a child. And it was just the complaint, why would you have something like that displayed? It's because ultimately these are oddities. They were sourced correctly and I actually, I was concerned because I had gotten it from what's called the Bone Room, theboneroom.com. There's only three states in the USA that you cannot own any human, like remains of any kind, bones, specimens, anything. However, this skull, because they're positively sourced, um, they're not under any trade that's illegal. Everything I own in my house, as far as these teeth, um, and maybe one of my specimens, which I got from the bone room, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is, and that's why they're called oddities. And I host them with respect. I'm not making fun of them. I'm not like, dee, 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 dee. <laughs> but this right here, um, very well known to some. This is an adult, so if I went to pull this adult out of its pot, it would not scream. But these are known as mandrakes, as you may have seen earlier in my little potions. Potions chest, potions cabinet, potions cabinet, 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 cabinet. And the mandrake, when is a baby? They need potted, so when they are pulled out of their pots, they scream, and the scream is so piercing, it's caused people to completely pass out, collapse, and sometimes pass away. Very unique, very ridiculous. <laughs> so, out of like, I don't know, probably ten um, in my little room, this one's the most quote-unquote realistic. It's very cute. This one from. I don't know what it's made from either. It looks like paper mache or not this part, but. Okay. So I've got one more wet specimen and then we'll move on to my two, three final pieces. So this wet specimen I just got. Interestingly enough, we've had this exact. years and years and years. So we have a three-year-old snake, obviously much bigger than this one, and you could tell this was a baby. A little baby. Baby. Little baby. Little baby. And I actually just got this snake the other day. There is a creator, and her name is Whimsical. Whimsical, dearest, dearest, dearest. And she is amazing. She does all different types of wet specimens, um, from as small as bugs to as big as even cats. Um, and they are just, they're gorgeous, very beautiful, very well preserved, and this little one is my newest piece, except for my little turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. Very beautifully preserved. Unfortunately, with these presentations, I have to touch the glass. snake that we've had for three years. 
is um, its breed. It's a very common breed. It's uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. It's only because I'm filming and it just falls away. But we have that exact same snake, and his name is Snick. S N I K. Snick. Okay, an honorable mention. So I got this for my birthday like two years ago. And this is a piece of trinitite. It's a radioactive, um, above is a fragment of trinitite. Chemical analysis determined it is nearly pure melted silica with traces of olivine, feldspar, and other minerals which comprise the desert sand of New Mexico. So this piece, um, came from the first atomic bomb at the Trinity test site in New Mexico. The blast equivalent to 18,000 tons of TNT created a fireball that scorched the desert and melted the sand in the area. When the melted sand solidified again, it became a light green present radioactive or er, light green glass material that was named Trinitite. While highly radioactive when formed in 1945 at present, at present it radioactive its radioactivity level is close to zero. Closed for many years, the Trinity site is currently open to the public by the National Park Service twice a year. Doors are given by the Department of Defense on request. So, this is a piece from the original atomic bomb. It says its radioactivity is close to zero. I don't know. I don't have a measure. One of those things that measure it. I said it's a chemical. It's a mineral. I'm it's something. But at one point, it was radioactive. 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 So that's pretty unique and pretty cute. But this doesn't go in the potions cabinet because it has a bunch of text on it. <laughs> so this piece I'm about to show you um, does not go into the potions chest, potions cabinet. Um, this goes into my, uh, glass cabinet. It is the piece that I got from John's Bones. I will include, um, his information down below. He just opened up a museum in New York. He's been in all different types of science magazines. Um, his work is everywhere. And this is something I got, which I do have to be relatively careful with. Because if I hurt my own, um, it would be difficult. So, this is a articulated human arm with hand. I did a video back in the end of 2022. And you can tell this is an adult because look how long the bones are. And when I say it's articulated, has all the wiring in it the way it should be. It's probably not the best sound. The screen is on. I apologize. Jeez. So when I put my hand up, it's about, it's genuinely about as equal to my own hand. But every piece on this um, articulation is real human. It's the same arm. Um, again, this is a medical piece from his collection, and if I didn't have it, nobody else did. It would be hosted in his museum. I also own a um, human spine, a uh, complete spine, complete hip, um, and again, I did own the skull at one point, but we did end up giving that. We sold it from the bone room to John's Bones, and currently on presentation in his museum, which I'm really excited about. If you look, um, I was taught at the elbow here, there's pitting, 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 which shows that this person had arthritis. That's what I was told. Um, you can see some of the issues and diseases this person had. There's more pitting down here. Um, obviously not that, but this is a real human arm bone. So, and hand 
so you're probably wondering, um, why are you just casually touching this? The bones have been cleaned, completely cleaned and bleached. Um, they're completely, it's, it's sanitary, there's nothing that could possibly hurt me, get on me. Of course, I'm gonna wash my hands after and put this back, but nothing on this is going to hurt me, um, that it won't, wouldn't hurt anybody else or itself. So this is incredible. Um, these are very, 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 very expensive pieces and pieces that took me a long time to acquire. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorite pieces in my collection. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put it back. So say goodbye. I would definitely look up the laws in your state. Again, there are only three states. Um, I, I, uh, Georgia, I believe, Washington, I'm not sure, I think Washington State. You're going to have to look it up, but it's only three. And you can go to websites like theboneroom.com or johnsbones.com or his museum and buy pieces like this. The thing is, they're just very expensive, and some of the pieces over time don't stay the way they are, which I'm about to show you last, but we're going to calm down with one more fun little thing. There is one potion, which you probably saw in the beginning, and that is my Cydrate. Um, so, it, you know, gives a little hope for the agony, and the Cydrate goes or comes in a little glass vial, a little glass vial, a little glass vial, and the citrate gun goes somewhere against your anatomy, and when the gun goes off, Miss Sweet is ready for surgery. surgery. I just mixed up like three lyrics. We know that's what I do. I just wish that you could see 
See you.